Welcome everybody to Hollywood, California. I am your host, Pratesh Shah. We're on Actors E Chat Live, Hollywood, California. It's beautiful, it's getting a little cold now, but it's, it's awesome. And of course, today we have a very special guest. Please welcome Jacqueline Beetham, everybody. Hey! What? Now, uh, if you don't know her, you're going to know her because she's uh, one of the stars of the haves and have-nots on the Oprah Winfrey Network. What? What? Which is awesome. But before we get to that, um, we're going to start like we always do. Um, how about you tell everyone where you were born, where you grew up? Um, I'm from Long Beach, California, and I grew up in Southern California. And so you're like a local a little bit. Right? Yeah. Sweet. Los Angeles County. The last A. That's rare <laughs> in L.A. Um, okay, yeah. so Long Beach. Um, and then I got into a ballet academy in San Jose, so I moved up to Northern California, and I danced there for a while. And then I got into Houston Ballet when I was 15, and I danced there, and then been kind of all over since, and now I'm back here in Los Angeles. L.A., what, what? Okay, so now you talk <laughs> about ballet. Um, now, how old were you when you started doing... Uh, became a ballerina? Um, well, I did gymnastics my whole life. Okay. And then I started actually when I was 11, which is pretty late, <laughs> I guess, which is still so young, but yeah. yeah. right, I guess, yeah, when you get into dancing, if you're not like three or four, it's like, uh, you're, you're late to the party. You need, you need to retire. You need to retire now. retire. <laughs> okay, so you're doing that now. Before I go into that, um, what's your what's your background? Like, are you, you mixed, your parents? Just um, trying to get the ethnic I, background here. <laughs> I'm a total mutt. Are you? Yeah. Well, let's hear it. Let's okay. see. Let's see. I'm Samoan, which my last name is German Samoan. Sam. Okay. Um. Do you know what that is? No, I do not. <laughs> I I tried to pretend you know, like, I knew. So, okay. I was like, oh yeah, I got okay, it. Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> no, go ahead. You um, caught me. It's Pacific Islander. Okay. So Samoa, um, but I'm Samoan, Mexican. I have a little bit of Sioux Indian and white. Oh well, so, there you go. Now, when mixed. you said Samoan, isn't that Samoan? Yeah. Am I saying it wrong? Samoan. It's Samoan. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> Thanks for m making me feel like I didn't know what I was talking about. Uh, Simone, okay, Simone. I'll to say it, I'll say it right. Okay, well that's cool. So you came from a mixed background. Now, when you got into ballerina or the arts in general, how did your family feel about you doing that? They didn't really understand it. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, I, I like opened up a yellow pages and it was like, "You're <laughs> taking me to this class at this time." And like, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, and my mom was like, "Okay," but she thought the whole dance word dance world was a little weird. Okay. Which and, and it, why so? It kind of is, but. It's awesome. Um, I think it was just like, why are you spending all this time doing all this stuff mm -hmm. when, like, all my siblings, oh, there I am and, dancing. And, and there you are <laughs> doing that. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Are you, you're on your toe. I'm on, yeah. Wow. Point. Yeah, yeah. The point. Ooh, that's, that's a little bit. There it is. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's great. So, <laughs> um, now, so when you when you're doing that, um, mm -hmm. how did that transition? Now, were you doing that as well, like in high school? Were you performing when you were in the well, school? Well, I actually, art school? I actually graduated when I was 16 years old, so I could dance with the Houston Ballet. So, I now you're super smart too. <laughs> it's not fair, people. Some things in life are just not fair. Okay. Um, I just that's all I wanted to do. I okay. wanted to dance. I wanted to perform. I wanted to go throughout the world and dance with huge companies. And um, and I did a lot of cool things, and um, that was my main focus. And I was more into that than going to college and doing okay. all those things. So, so wait, now, when you say that, because I know that's a tough transition sometimes with people's you know families yeah. and parents understanding that. My parents that. are both teachers. <laughs> exactly. So they're in the so academic <laughs> world. So how did they feel when, you're, when your daughter comes up to you and says, hey, I'm going to be a dancer, and I'm not going to college? What was their reaction? Um, I think I was so adamant about it that they were like, okay, like there's no other choice because this is what she's doing. Because so, you were so confident. Yeah, like, oh, exactly. Wow. So they were supportive. And um, I think it was still kind of weird to them. And then especially when I was like, I'm going to be an actor. <laughs> then it was like, oh, okay. Are you sure? <laughs> That's okay. what you yeah, want to do? You, do you know what you're talking about? You sure you don't want to go to school? <laughs> uh, um, yeah, Pepper, we got, a, we got a question. Yes, Chatter says, hello from Las Vegas. Says, Jacqueline. Do you still dance? You probably don't have time now with all your acting. Yeah, one of the chatters wants to know, do you still dance? Do you still do that? Um, I actually have a nonprofit called Beetham Ballet Theater. and it's Beetham Ballet Theater. Cool. Yeah, and it's for disadvantaged youth or kids that wouldn't have the opportunity to okay. dance. Um, so I still do that, and I still teach all the time. Oh, nice. Um, and so it it's still a part of who you are. It's still very much a part of who I am. I, I 
feel like I almost go a little crazy when I don't dance. Yeah. Like I need it. Like it's it like my you, therapy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It brings you back down. That's totally cool. Totally brings me happiness. So. Um. So now I want to go back to this. So you you're 16. Mm -hmm. You graduated high school early, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna dance. Where did you go? Like, what what um, what was your next path? In your life? <laughs> well, when I was 15, I went to Houston Ballet, and I right moved there. away from home. Yeah. Hold on, is that the Beetham Ballet Theater coming up? Okay, we're gonna show that in a little okay. bit. Okay. Go on. Um, so I moved away from home at 15, and I was at Houston till I was about 18, and then I went to Italy and did this competition called Grand Prix Italia. Okay, nice. Um, and I won the gold medal and did all wow. these. Yeah, it was really cool. Did you fall in love in Italy? Isn't that the spot? Did you, <laughs> did you have a boyfriend in Italy? I actually met an American. <laughs> did you? Oh, that's what always happens. You go to different countries. You meet someone where you're from. That's great. That's um, awesome. And that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Other conversation. OK, that's awesome. And, <laughs> and, but that's cool, though. So you, you were able to travel. So it definitely took you around the world. Yeah. Um, and um, danced in New York for a while, and then went back to San Jose, California, and danced there. And. Um, it definitely was a fun career, but I took an acting class and I fell in love with it so much. So when did you take the acting class? Um, about three years ago. So not too. I know. I know. Really? <laughs> God. Okay. People get really mad. Yeah. So I try not to talk um, about it. Okay. So you took you took an acting class three years ago. Now was this uh, in LA or was this up north? It was in LA. Okay. Um, I so what came, brought you down here then? I. I kind of needed a break from ballet, okay. and I ended up actually dancing with Anaheim Ballet and okay. um, right away, and I got certified in Pilates because I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I okay. was kind of in this like limbo stage of my nice. life, and um, my friend was an actor, and she's like, well, why don't you come take this like cold reading class mm -hmm. with me? And so I went to, her name is Candy Knicky Herman, and okay. I went to her cold reading class and fell in love with it and got a manager right away and started auditioning. So wow. it was kind of crazy. That's yeah. <laughs> so now when you took the class, did you know, okay, I'm done with dance? Like, not totally done with dancing because we know it's part of your life, but as a career move, did you know acting was what you wanted to get into? I definitely wanted that to be my career and to, you know, have the transition, but okay. I didn't really know if it was possible or not. So... Well, clearly it is, but we're going to get more into that. Uh, go ahead, Pepper. We got yes, we have a chatter. Some more. Sorry if I'm not spelling Some more? Some, I'm not sure if Hi, some more. I want some more. Yeah, I'm spelling yeah. some more. <laughs> she, he says you're acting, but uh, what are the things that you do with your time now besides acting and your foundation? And what else do you do besides acting and oh, your foundation wow. right now? Um, gosh. You're like, that takes up all my time. I, yeah. I'm sure that keeps you pretty busy. Yeah, really, really busy. Um, I, I'm married, so, so I'm with Sorry, my, guys. Uh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. guys. Uh, yeah, you so put you a know. ring on it. Yeah, so. Um, so I'm with my husband a lot, and we do a lot of fun things together. We love music, and we love being artistic and doing fun things together in that way awesome. and collaborating. Um, so honestly, it's just my family and my husband. I'm. I, that sounds so boring. Well, it makes sense if you're busy. <laughs> no, but it makes sense if you're busy. Uh, there well, he is. That's my husband. There's your husband. What's your husband's name again? Torin Cadell. Torin Cadell. He loves nice. his beard. Yeah. As you can but see. But looks good on him. <laughs> looks good on him. <laughs> um, Torin actually is a musician. Awesome. Um, he was the voice of Arnold from Hey Arnold, which is pretty freaking cool. That That's is my awesome. football head. Um, and he wrote the song Sweet Sixteen. Which by Hillary Duff. By Hillary Duff. I know about this. <laughs> I know. I'm not embarrassed to say it. I know about he that. He listens to Sweet Sixteen. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I had a younger sister in the house. Don't judge me, Jacqueline. Don't <laughs> judge me. I don't I don't like that. Don't judge me. Uh, and you should be happy on supporting your husband without True. even knowing Thank it. Thank you. Thank uh, you so much. You're welcome. Sure. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, but talk about that song. Also, when you t you mentioned earlier before oh. that went like eight times platinum or something. Well, it there's Hillary like Duff. It was like crazy. It sold a bazillion copies. That, I don't that's even awesome. Know. There's like a lot of little platinum things on our wall. Wow, well, so, that's yeah. a that's a pretty, pretty cool. cool house to be in. Yeah. Um, so now, oh, we got another one. Look, you're yes. so popular. Uh, Bismarck has a question. What's up, Bismarck? Bismarck, and hey. Bismarck, North Dakota wants to know. So, what was your first acting job? First acting job. You know what? We're going to get right into that. You took, you, you got That's ahead of me. Really That's my next question. <laughs> no, we're going to have to. So you start acting class, so, which was just three years ago, which I want everyone to know in the acting world, three years is nothing. Like, literally, it's, it's nothing. It's, you know, those are just, you're starting to get 
get started. So you, you start your acting class <laughs> three years ago. You, you tell me you took the cold <laughs> reading class. Yep. Now, people that may not know what cold reading is, can you describe what exactly cold, cold reading, reading is? Cold reading is <clears throat> when they give you the sides, like, in class. They just give you your copy or your dialogue, and you look over it once or twice, and then you go straight into the scene. Um, mm -hmm. So it's just, like, right in the moment. Um, which is good when you don't really know how to act. It learn makes you learn how to break down a scene right away, right. and um, it prepares you a lot. Right. Honestly, I mean, with our show that I'm on right now, sometimes we would get the dialogue literally while we were in the makeup chair, so we had to learn it very quickly, mm -hmm. which I feel like if I wouldn't have taken those classes, I would have have been so prepared. It all so. happens for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> so now I know you kind of, uh, now was that your first? Jo it wasn't, I, it's actually not on IMDb. I don't uh, have all my credits on IMDb. Okay, tell well, well, tell us about this one. Ja me. was um, a friend of mine was doing this movie, and um, my friend Tamara knew the people who were directing and producing it, and she just asked me to be in it with her, and I think I was like volleyball no girl number like four or something. What? <laughs> what? Dang. Which is uh, funny, and but... That's, those are always the first few credits. Those are awesome, though. But my first, first credit... Um, Oh, that's Tamra, Camille. That's one of my best friends. She oh, was a bridesmaid awesome. at my wedding. Oh, great. Yay, that's cool. Tamra. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay. Well, we're going to come back to that. Uh, okay. You're watching Actors E Chat. Uh, I'm your host, Pratesh Shah, and we'll be right back after a word from one of our sponsors. The great thing about NL Media is the one stop shop. We are soup to nuts. We have writers, directors, producers, animators, motion graphics artists, editors, videographers, musicians, all under one roof. And we are a boutique creative house where we actually do the creative at much more affordable price and have the staff in house to execute it professionally. My name is John Palacio. My name is Luis Montez. My name is Paul Robinson. I am Jesse Cervantes. I'm Curtis Peel. My name is Ben Joran. One of the most common questions we have from potential clients is how does it work? What happens when you engage in now media to create a video, a marketing campaign? It first starts with, you know, obviously having the phone conversation with the client, brainstorm with them to come up with a really good concept and a really good idea to push whatever they're trying to do to the next level. Only with that in mind can we really try to tailor a concept and a script for their exact audience that fits in with their branding and the message they want to tell. We'll storyboard it out, get a real rough idea uh, of what we want to do. We'll then present the client with a couple of options, different ways that we could go with some of the things that we've come up with. And they'll say, this is good, and then we'll come back and we'll start animating that or designing it or editing it. Our clients are generally, you know, like to be really hands-on, and we'd like to hear from you kind of all along the board. There's no surprises. What we like to do with every partner is we actually create a page on the EndNow website so they can give feedback, and that way, when the time we get to the final product, you know, usually there's not a whole lot more revisions to do because they, we've already been working together the whole time. The big difference is that, that real personal creative touch. We have a creative group that can execute that vision, whether it's animation, video, motion, graphics, and do so with some unique creative that is custom tailored to that business. You know, dream it up. It's video. It's magic. It can happen. Welcome back to Actors E Chat. I'm your host, Pratesh Shah. Make sure you check out actorsreporter.com and click on the discount page, the actor discounts, and you'll see a bunch of our sponsors and uh, cool things you can check out. Uh, now we're back with Jacqueline Beetham. Uh, of course, we had spoken about uh, well, we left off with one of the one of the movies you did with your friend, which is awesome. Yeah. But I still want everyone to know what was your first acting credit. Do you credit like as in a commercial or like acting 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 acting, 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 acting. credit because I want the because <laughs> I, I love it. Oh God. Let's um, let's hear it. I was. On America's Most Wanted. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. It was a, They're right there. there it America's is. Most Wanted. We've um, all seen it. I played a flashback, and it was actually horrible because it's a true story. Okay. And it was about a girl who <coughs> got kidnapped by a gang and killed in the oh, woods. Wow. And so it was actually a really hard job for like my first job, but um, yeah, 
That was it. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 and that's actually... Um, it was nice to get the girl's story out. Exactly. And try to, like, help her and help that whole situation of finding her killer. And, I mean, that part was really cool. Yeah. But it's it's sad when you're like, wow, this really did happen. Exactly. And I feel like for a first credit, I think people may not understand, too, is when you're playing, you're not playing a fictional character. You're actually yeah. playing... There's a little pressure to that. It's a little pressure. It's a little pressure. You like, want to do it justice because this is this girl's story. Exactly. And it's kind of like you want justice for this poor right. girl. Right. So, yeah. Well, that's intense. That, that's pretty cool. Uh, go ahead, Pepper. Yes. Uh, scene from Las Vegas wants to know, where did they shoot that America, America's Most Wanted? Where did they shoot America's Most Wanted? We shot America's Most Wanted actually in the Valley, which is a little bit north of L.A. Um, in California. It's about so 15 miles north. So it was really north. hot. Yeah. It was probably like 110 degrees. We yeah, it gets, outside it gets and very hot in yeah, the Valley. I used very, to live there. Hot. It gets pretty hot. Uh, okay, so that's pretty cool. So you did America's Most Wanted. You got, got that out of the way. <laughs> as, it, as in it was your first credit and uh, I always feel like there's that biggest you're holding your breath for that first first yeah. thing but uh, outside of just uh, TV film um, you highly experienced in commercials yeah which is a little different world talk about that totally a little bit how that, how that happened um, <coughs> I was very blessed I mean booking a national commercial is really awesome I know you've done commercials yeah. too um, you work for a day and you get paid for like a year it's pretty awesome like, yeah and, and the way it works is because you film for a day, and, and commercials how it works, if people might not know, is residuals. Yeah. So every time it airs, you get paid every single time it airs, so it can so be pretty, pretty nice. that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And I think I've shot, honestly, like 30 commercials, which is insane. Um, which means she's paying for lunch uh, uh, later. I mean, sure. I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> we yeah. can go get We're lunch. Gonna go lunch. Oh, that's me. Oh, th there you are right there. Now, which commercial was that? That was actually for an Adidas campaign. Oh, nice. Um, I also used to model, and okay, I did a lot of perfect. athletic things, and um, that As was the Fit right to there. Win campaign. Now, yeah. I'm sure the, ba the ballet background has to help a lot, because it obviously yeah. keeps you in shape, and you're, you know, athletic already, so that must be pretty cool to have on your resume. Yeah, it was awesome, and I've shot for McDonald's, and I got to eat hamburgers 300 times in a row, yeah. and um, <laughs> Netflix, I've done all kinds of stuff. Paul Mitchell, it's fun. That's, that's, yeah. a, that's really cool. Now, so you do that. Uh, now. A lot of times when people come to LA, a lot of actors going after is getting an agent or representation. Now, how that happened for you? Did you already have one right away before you America's Most Wanted, or no. did it take that to get? When I took an acting class, mm -hmm. um, I met a manager right away. Okay. They watched the scene, and I got a manager, and they started submitting me, and then I met. They got me interviews and meetings with other agents and. Um, we got signed, and I started booking things right away, which was really a huge blessing. It's, it's been crazy, your story. Yeah. It has been. I mean, it, that, that, it's pretty awesome. So you, so you start booking stuff right away. You get the, um, the manager, the agents. Mm -hmm. um, now, you're probably, obviously, you know about pilot season. Yeah. Was that, was that when, you, when you went to your first pilot, was, is that your contortion? Oh, oh wow. my God. You found this video. <laughs> Wow! Hey, they found that the producers found this video. Yeah. Just to show you how athletic and flexible uh, I'm she very is. Very flexible. That it's is a little ridiculous. pretty amazing <laughs> that you can do that. I can see why you're doing Adidas <laughs> campaigns and stuff. I, I'm sitting here. I can barely sit down without spraining my ankle. So uh, <laughs> I'm definitely not doing that. Uh, athletics didn't run in my family. Um, wow, that's that was amazing. So okay, so you're doing that. Um, how was it for you, like? When did you really feel like, okay, this is what I'm going to do? This is um, what I, full time, I'm going to be an actress? Like. Well, I think after the first pilot season, I was, I booked, the second pilot season I did, um, I booked a tour with Neo. Okay. And it was kind of the year of. Are Neo, you, the pop singer? Yes. Okay. Exactly. I'm sure most of you guys know who that is. Yes. And I was really excited. It was a world tour. And they were like, you can stay for pilot season and you might not book anything, uh -huh. or you can go get paid and do a world tour and have like a really awesome year. And there's That's Neo, Neo, of course. Yeah. Has some awesome songs. Now, when you say tour with Neo, were you one of his sing back singers? Dancers. Dan oh, dancers, Dancer, Sweet. yeah. So it would have been really cool, and I was gonna do hip hop and ballet, so it would have been like a really cool combination cool of combo. both. Um, so, and I stayed, and I decided to just audition, and I didn't book anything that year, and it was, really kind of frustrating but I was like I know I know like I'm supposed to be doing this and I need to stay and just be focused and stay in class and keep trucking and I had a lot of great callbacks that year and had some good momentum and then the following pilot season I booked the show so it was it's, awesome. it's always a, cha it's a champagne problem as we know. <laughs> Go on. 
So we have a question. Do you actually sing, and um, or did you learn anything about singing, uh, touring with Neo? Yeah, do you sing? Uh, we all know we saw how, how well you can move and dance. Uh, do you sing as well? Um, I wouldn't call myself a singer, but my husband just recorded me for the first time, and we did a Santa Baby song for Christmas. I think she's being modest. She can sing. Oh, God. She's, she's being very modest. So yeah, scary. She can sing. Uh, um, so you're like a triple, th oh, look at that, that's your Santa oh, that's, Baby video. that's the Santa Baby video. <laughs> it's a little bit more naughty than nice. Oh, but. look at that. And so did your husband direct this as well? He recorded it, produced, directed, filmed, edited. He's just one of those people that are like extremely talented at everything. It's kind of annoying where you're like, what can't you do? I don't understand. Okay, you're not so bad yourself, miss. Uh, I don't know. TV commercials, <laughs> ballet singer, I think. So you want 10% of our kids? I, I pretty much want 10%. Okay. Uh, I'm cool. already going to be Done. managing them. It's, it's cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, is, now, is that part of the same it's menu? It's a little saucy. Yeah, yeah, it's a little sassy. Look at that. <laughs> it's a ni nice Christmas present. There you go. It was uh, fun. Yeah, it's, that seems like a good time. And then, now, so, okay, so you did that. Um, I want to backtrack a little bit. Because uh, okay. uh, we talked about pilot season. For those of them not know, explain to the people what pilot season actually is? So a pilot is kind of like an idea. It's a show that a writer, someone pitched, or they're trying to get bought by the networks. Um, so usually they will shoot it, and mm -hmm. then they'll pitch it to a whole bunch of networks and try to get it greenlit to um, be bought for multiple episodes. Right. So pilot season is huge for like a new actor mm -hmm. because they could book a pilot and then be on a show and kind of it's like a breakout. And so it's your breakout thing. Yeah. Even though nowadays like do you see A-list stars doing all the new pilots. So oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. But you know, and, and the crazy thing is there's hundreds and hundreds of pilots um, and 10% of those you actually can get book filmed. It yeah. And film it. Film and, and nothing it, happens. No one ever will see it. it. <laughs> to, to, even get a, to even get a show that has one full season you're like such a such a minute percentage of that even happening it's like it's like one percent of the chance well just to get it happens. picked up is it's so a rare. crazy percentage yeah. so. so when you have shows that were like friends or seinfeld or some of those great mm -hmm. long successful shows yeah that is such an anomaly i mean mm -hmm. it's very lucky too so that kind of put things in perspective right yeah but i think so when we're going back to that you gave up the neo gig Mm -hmm. for pilot season and even though you didn't book anything it obviously turned out to be the right decision for you exactly and I think that's a uh, obvious uh, even though that can be a difficult decision that's a very good problem to have you yeah. know I don't know which you know what what problem to go on Pepper. yes we have a chatter question any audition hints for other people I mean <coughs> you didn't have huge amounts of acting experience yet you got such a great job yeah do you have any hints for uh, people who are interested in acting who want to know about more about um, it? Yeah, I think for the first like year or two, I was so nervous and I would go in and almost like bomb the audition because it was like my fault because Self -sabotage, I was Self-sabotage. Yeah, yeah, I I was really nervous and I would always be like, "Okay, what can I do or what should I do to, you know, book this?" And right. finally when I was like, "Whatever, I'm just going to be myself and I'm not going to have any gimmicks or anything that's going to, you know, make it or break it." that's when I started booking and that's when I really started feeling comfortable is just right. when I was myself. So I think like when you try to do something that someone else did or try to be like this actor, or like, ooh, well if you would do this, this would change it. I think those are the things that get to you, get in your head. Exactly. And that make you nervous and make you really who you aren't and the artist that potentially you could be, it'll kind of block you. Yeah. So I think just being yourself and just rocking what you have, that's what's going to be different. And that's mm -hmm. what's going to present yourself to this casting director or director. Absolutely. And they're going to like see that little beam of light. I think, I think that's awesome advice. I think it really just comes down to that. It, it helps you just be as self-confident as yeah. you can be. And I think that's... Because you're being yourself. <laughs> you're being yourself. And outside of even your career, that's awesome. Just for life, you know? It yeah. just makes you a stronger person. Exactly. Um, okay, so you do that. Um, mm -hmm. So you book that. Now, let's, let's move on to... You're doing uh, all these commercials. Now, are you still, how, how'd that work? Like, were you still after pilot season? You didn't book anything. Yeah. Did you do, like, a lot of commercials, or were you just booking? I was doing commercials. I mean, honestly, I was shooting, like, nine or ten a year, which is wow. pretty awesome. Yeah, I was so good. That's grateful. a lot for those who, like, <laughs> booking nine or ten commercials in a year, uh, I'm, I'm working on it, personally. But, uh, <laughs> 
that that is a great achievement. Uh, I'm sure your agents yeah, were. Yeah, but I I honestly still had a job. I was still teaching ballet and still doing dance auditions and still I was teaching Pilates and I was doing all kinds of stuff. Um, I was very busy and. I was honestly hustling. Like I was literally, I'd wake up at 5 a.m. and I'd get home at like 9.30. Um, it was like very long days, but I feel like if I wasn't doing all that stuff, I wouldn't be where Pushing I am now. Pushing yourself further yeah. and further. Yeah, you're not just sitting around. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, so you're doing that. Uh, now, what's, how's your family feeling this whole time? Are they, are they, they surprised? <laughs> are you taken back? Like our daughter was a dancer, now she's on TV and she's doing commercials. Like that yeah. must be really cool. I think like in the process it was <clears throat> hard for them because I would call the time be like so tired and yeah. like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. And no, I didn't book it. They would always ask like, oh, did you book it? And you know, when you say no, it's kind of like, oh, I didn't book it. You know, like, That's why I don't even tell anyone because you're like, you always get that question. You're like, I don't want to hear you're about like, it. Because you're like, oh my gosh, I'm on this, I'm yeah. auditioning for a Will Smith movie and it's going to be so cool. And then when you don't book it, it's like you already feel bad. And you then when you have bad. to tell them you didn't book it, it's like, Because people yeah. not in the business expect you to like yeah, get it, you know? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, but now they're excited. They, yeah, they I, love it. And uh, my mom and dad are so supportive and they're like, oh my gosh, that episode was so great. And well, look at that. Yeah. Well, we're going to get into the good stuff just in a moment. You're watching Actors E Chat. I'm your host, Pratesh Shah, and we'll be right back after a word from one of our sponsors. Over her long career, Nina Fosh appeared in classic films such as Spartacus, The Ten Commandments, and An American in Paris. She received an Academy Award nomination for her performance in Robert Wise's Executive Suite. In 1965, Nina Fosh arrived here at USC to begin teaching directing, and I was lucky enough to get into one of her first classes. Even as she continued acting in film and television, Nina's passion for teaching lasted for over 40 years. Her course was immensely popular because she developed her own unique style, drawing on her experiences studying with Lee Strasberg, Stella Adler, and Uta Hagen, and being directed by such icons as Vincent Minnelli, Stanley Kubrick, Cecil B. DeMille, and Otto Preminger. As I began directing, the tremendous value of her teachings became evident and how important it was to preserve them for future generations. We became close friends, and at a cinema department event, we ran into my former classmate, George Lucas, who invited us up to Skywalker Ranch, where we discussed creating a DVD of her course. He agreed to finance it, and on January 10th, 2002, we began taping an entire semester using a crew of USC film students. We filmed for eight hours a week for 15 weeks, and this is the result. Okay, so what are we gonna do this semester? Welcome back to Actors eChat. I'm your host, Pratesh Shah. Make sure you check out actorsreporter.com and click on the Actors Discount page. You're going to find uh, a bunch of our sponsors and uh, cool things you can check out on there. And uh, of course, now we're back with Jacqueline Bitho. Uh, and uh, we're going to get into the really good stuff. So we heard, we've seen, uh, oh, we already have a question. We already have a question. Yes, one of the chatters says, so how did you get <sighs> the uh, series regular role on the haves and haves not with Tyler Perry. Well, that's ex all these chatters are ahead of, ahead of me. <laughs> they, they know what I'm going to ask before I ask it. That's exactly what I want to get into. So, uh, oh, of course, we're going to get into your show on the Oprah Winfrey Network, the haves and have nots. Uh, now, we, we did your background. Um, you did America's Most Wanted. You're booking a lot of commercials. You're teaching Pilates. Um, you're in LA, and then we have pilot season. Comes pilot around the season. second time. Now, of course, the first time you had great callbacks and, and things, and um, they didn't go, you necessarily didn't book anything. How was, how were you feeling mentally when you approached this pilot season? Well, I was, <coughs> I was a bit frustrated, honestly. I, I know three years doesn't sound like a long time, but when you're auditioning like 100, 200 auditions and mm -hmm. you only book like one or two things, it's yeah. kind of like, well, is this going to happen? You know, like you're getting to the end every time, which is fantastic. And everyone's like the momentum, it's a snowball effect. It's going, it's going, it's going to happen. But you're like, is it going to happen? You know, you, you don't really know. And so I kind of just was like, whatever. I'm going to just throw myself into this. And if it happens, cool. And if it doesn't, then I'm just going to have fun. And honestly, I, that's how I went to every audition. And I felt very comfortable. And I was just playing and having fun. And having I would a take, good time? Yeah, and taking every character and just making it my own and having fun honestly like I know I just that's said what that, it's about <laughs> though. I mean that's what we got into is yeah. we're playing and getting paid yeah you know exactly um, so you get that now 
tell me exactly how it comes about with this show, The Haves and Half Nots. How did your manager agent call you and talk about it, or was it on um, tape? Or? Well, I got an audition, and it was pilot season, so you're having like three, four auditions a day. It's insane. Uh -huh. And I went and auditioned, and they actually lost my audition tape. Um, casting here in They're like, LA. great. Um, and my managers called, and they were like, well, you, they asked for you to come back in, but it's not a callback. Right. So is that okay with you? Right. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Like, I can go right now. So I went and auditioned again. And after the audition, because we had just done it like a day or two before, we started laughing, laughing yeah. me and the casting director. And um, I guess when producers saw it, they saw my smile and they were like, let's bring her in for a callback. So I flew out to Atlanta like a few days later. And now your character isn't necessarily one to no, be she's, smiling. No, or she's like, like that. extremely dark. Exactly. <laughs> so that's so interesting. And I was telling her earlier. She early, cries in every It's episode. like a beautiful mistake because they see something you don't think necessarily you would want them to see. And that's what got you to the next round. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. Um, so I <laughs> went and auditioned. And I fly out to Atlanta, and there's only me and one other girl. She, uh, and she's blonde, completely looks nothing like me. And I'm like, so they're either going to go blonde well, or brunette. brunette. Okay. <laughs> so um, I do my audition, and it was really fun. And I felt good about it. Um, but you never know. And so I go back in the room, and producers are like, Jacqueline, we'd like to speak to you. And I'm like, OK. And they're like, you did so great. We're going to talk to your people. And I'm like, but wait, what does that mean? Yeah. Like, does that, what, did I book it? So. I was really confused. They're like, can you write me my check, please? <laughs> please. <laughs> um, but it was cool just to hear them even say, like, great yeah. job. Um, and then two days later, they called, and I booked the show. Which so. so it moved pretty fast. Yeah, but I mean, it was the longest two days of my life. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Those 48 <laughs> hours, you didn't sleep much, I'm no, sure. No, I was like, oh my god, what's going on? Uh, uh, so. We've got another Chatters question. Go ahead, Pepper. One of the Chatters says that haves and has nots was hit or his or her favorite show, loves oh. the acting and the writing. Another chatter says, do they put dark circles under your eyes? You look so different. <laughs> Go ahead. This is, this is a question Jacqueline would love to answer for you. Because um, she's told me a lot of times, what do they do? Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah in the show, I, I honestly barely wear any makeup. Um, in certain episodes, when I was in the hospital, we would put a little bit darker makeup underneath my eyes to make me look a little bit more withdrawn and haggard. I mean, I just attempted suicide, so. Wow. Yeah, we had very little makeup on, if any, so. That is awesome. <laughs> Go ahead, Pepper. Chatter from Florida says, uh, I forgot the first part of the question, but the second part is, are you gonna be on next season? Are you gonna be on next season? Yes. Yes. Amanda changes a lot, so be ready for that. She does get her revenge, and she comes out of her shell very much. A little vengeful, <laughs> huh, your character? Yeah. One of the chatters says, how often do you shoot? Yeah, so let's talk about that. So you just you filmed your first season. Yeah. Uh, before we go into all the details on how you shoot and where you shoot, uh, give uh, that people who haven't seen the show, what's the show about? Um, so it's called The Haves and the Have-Nots. Here's a clip right Here's now. Here's a clip right there. Um, John, Schneider. John Schneider plays my dad. Okay. Um, I'm the cri part of the Cryer family. I'm the youngest one. Okay. And it's pretty much we have every superficial need you can possibly want. Um, we're very, very wealthy. But our family is lacking a lot. <laughs> um, the love aspect is there in, in the sense that they will do everything for each other, but we don't really understand each other. They kind of pressure me to do um, what they want to do, right. but not necessarily what I want to do. And I want to make them happy, so I put a lot of pressure on myself. Um, I'm a cutter. I'm very introverted. Wow. Um, it's so a pretty, very dark it's character. It's very, very dark. Mm -hmm. um, and she doesn't really have an outlet, so she ends up taking pills and doing a lot of things that help her express herself in right. very dark, dark ways. Um, and that's Tika Sumter. She plays um, a part of the other family that's kind of like the have-nots. Um, and she um, is kind of conning and working our family in every way to try to get money and um, doing things uh, that kind of cause a lot now, of how problems. How, <laughs> now, being that you mentioned uh, being introverted and a very dark character that you play, 
how did you go about, what, did you dig deep into some part of your personal life or did you create this whole other uh, um, realm for your character? I mean, where did you go to get to that place? Well, I think every girl or boy has had some kind of sense of insecurity mm -hmm. in their life. I mean, we all go through um, <clears throat> puberty and we go through awkward stages in our yes. lives where, you know, you don't feel the prettiest or you don't, um, you're not accepted at some point in your life. I think someone always goes through that. So uh -huh. um, I tapped into that and then I kind of researched and just figured out a whole bunch of things about people who do cut and who do have these really dark problems and um, just kind of created this character. That is, uh, that, that, that's actually a really good point. I think, I think a lot of people go through that. And um, did you, uh, the other question I had for you is did you create the, uh, do you create like imagery in your head about your emotions or how you feel with your family going into the scene? I'm just curious when you're doing something so dark like that, attempting suicide and yeah. cutting yourself, um, is like pretty much like the worst place you can be as a human being. I honestly like all day long, I'm pretty much myself, and about 15 <coughs> minutes before is when I start tapping into it. Okay. And then I, um, I honestly just live in the scene and like what what would I feel if I was in this situation? In yeah, and it kind of just comes out. And then you get there. Yeah. Go ahead, Pepper. So the uh, chatter wants to know, have you met Tyler Perry? She's joined the show late. She wasn't sure if you talked about that. And if yes, what is he like? Have you met Tyler Perry and what is he <laughs> like? So of course you flew there and after you, oh, there's Tyler there's Perry, Tyler. of course, um, who is like, he owns Hollywood in his own right. <laughs> Let's be honest, everything Tyler Perry and Atlanta. Medea, <laughs> and Atlanta. <laughs> And, and so that, that goes into another point. The studios are in Atlanta. Yes. So I know you had to, you flew to Atlanta, and then once you got uh, once you booked it, you were, were living in Atlanta for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. um, now I did read that you did you you got to go have dinner with Tyler Perry once you guys all booked it. Oh is that, yeah, is that true? so At his house? he invited us to his house for a dinner just so we could all meet each How other. How nice was that house? Oh my god, <laughs> that's what I want to know. I was like, my apartment can fit in his like. Front, front, the foyer. Foyer, yeah. Okay. Like it was crazy, and um, he's <coughs> very successful, and um, it was awesome. I mean, he was so welcoming, and I think just to have us over to his home is really, really cool and generous. And we all got just to talk, and we talked about our characters and just the development of the show, and everyone was so excited. And it was really cool just to have that many actors and just be able to talk to each other about yeah. our our characters and um, where they were going and it was a really cool thing to kind of collaborate and to meet each other and feel comfortable before we shot. I, that, I that enjoyed is cool. it a lot. Now, uh, how, how is Tyler Perry? So people obviously just see him in the media and how he's portrayed in movies, but for, you know, you've been lucky enough to meet him and know him as a person. Uh, yeah. Give us a little insight into his like, personality. Who is he? he? He's honestly the most hardworking man I have ever met. Like. Wow. He is there before any of us, and he's there later than any of us. And he writes, produces, directs, he acts himself. Like, I don't know how he finds all of the time for that, but somehow he does, and he's still nice, and he's still humble, and he, um, I, he's got to be exhausted, and he doesn't act like it. And it's, it's really refreshing to see someone that um, is always happy and is very easy to work with and does so much. That's awesome. Yeah. That's, that's another clip from the show. Oh, it, oh there she is. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think that's where they put the dark lines in your eyes there yeah. a little bit, don't you think? Um, so you do that. Uh, you're working on the show. Uh, tell, now, what was the transition like? Of course, uh, as an actor or an actress, you have to move where the gig takes you. Exactly. And I'm not, did you ever live in Atlanta before? I had never been to Atlanta. Been to Atlanta. So how, how was that transition for you, going to a new city and not necessarily knowing people there besides your co-stars? What was that experience um, like? It, <coughs> was, it was a little intimidating, honestly. I, I mean, it was my first really big job. I was gonna be acting every single day and developing this character. Um, I had just gotten married, it had been just a few months, so I was away from him. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I, I had lived away from home for a very long time and through in very exotic places and all over the world. 
So, I mean, I was fine, but I was very nervous. But I think once we had that dinner and once I met Tyler and I felt very comfortable around him, I was fine. It was just that kind of initial, like, thing of, like, yeah. I just want to meet him and know who I'm working with. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. once that happened, I was, I felt so comfortable. That is awesome. Go ahead, Pepper. So, uh, you live in Atlanta permanently now? Now, do you live in Atlanta permanently? No, I don't. I just go there um, for when we are on location uh, and when we're shooting the show, and then I come back here to Los Angeles, California. So you're shooting at a studio in Atlanta, right? Mm -hmm. Now, um, how long does, for people maybe wondering, how long does it take to film, let's say, just one episode of the show? <laughs> so usually they shoot an episode a week for TV shows, but we shoot an episode a day. What? Yeah. We shot 20 episodes. That's soap opera pace. Yeah, it's it's insane. Wow, that's we usually get one or two takes, um, and that's it. And then they move on. And we shot 20 episodes in about 23 to 24 days, including our promo. <laughs> that is, uh, for those of you who don't know, that is that is an insane pace. It's an insane pace. That's yeah. incredible. That's a workout. Yeah. That is an emotional workout. That's that's yeah. that's amazing. Where can someone send you fan mail? Oh, where can someone send you fan mail? Look at you, Jacqueline. People oh. want to send you mail right now. Um. I mean, I have an Instagram, at Jacqueline Beatham. I have a Twitter, which is at Jacqueline Beatham. Beatham. She makes it very and easy for you to find me. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there's your Twitter there's Oh, your there's Twitter my right Twitter. There. Um, and I have Facebook, which is Jacqueline Michelle Beatham. There's another Jacqueline Beatham on there. That's not me. So make sure you put the Michelle on Facebook. Make sure you look Facebook. for that, that, that hairdo right there. Yeah. And Beatham Ballet Theater is my nonprofit page as well. And I'll probably do another Facebook, like, Fan, the fan page, page. Um, thing I can probably She'll probably do, do that, that today. 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 I'll do that so for you guys today. You can send her messages and uh, yeah, other questions I would on love that, that and she'll, she'll write back. Um, so, you, okay, first of all, I'm, I, I can't believe that you filmed that many episodes that fast. Uh, how many... Uh, there's your IMDb. Oh, oh, there's my IMDb. It's not about me today, but yeah, that's what, you can find me on Twitter too, at Funny Sha. Mm -hmm. What, what? And there's my uh, like page. Check that out. Uh, but, okay, so now... 20, I, how many hours a day are you guys working? Oh, God. We would have 5 a.m. call times, um, which is 2 a.m. here in Los Angeles. So getting back onto that schedule is always very interesting. Um, and then we would be there till 8 or 9 or 10 o'clock at night. Wow. Yeah. It was You're working 14-hour days. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I'm sure now, how are the craft services? So good. Pretty good. Crab service. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you're on set, it's awesome because you have food all day. You just yeah. pretty much It's my excuse to get fat. I'm gluten free, and they'd be like, Jacqueline, we made you gluten free brownies. We made you gluten free cookies, and I would be like, Oh my god, okay. <laughs> and they were always like the best tasting thing you've yeah, ever it's, had it's in your life. Cool. So you'd eat like five of them instead yeah, of exactly. like one. Yeah. The, the great thing about being in LA, it's so easy. I'm vegetarian. Oh, I was cool. gluten free for a short period of time. Didn't make me feel better, but. I'm actually allergic to oh, gluten, so celiac I don't really. Disease, huh? I actually am not celiac. <coughs> I'm just intolerant, which is gluten very intolerant. yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. It's healthy. Anyway, we have a go ahead, Pepper. So there are two questions. One is: Are there any acting books that you've read that you think are really good? One of our chatters read uh, a book called Acting Without Agony. Agony, I think. Well, that's actually good. a really good question. I like that. Is there any other? Um, acting books, anything else that you use as inspiration or have, you've learned from? I've actually never read an acting book except for one which is about his story. It's kind of like his bio, but Fred Stoller is my next door neighbor. Okay. And he's one of my like best friends. Um, and he has, oh my God, he's worked probably 300, 400 credits. Like it's insane. Um, busy but, man. Busy man. But we go out to lunch and breakfast and dinner almost every day, and we're spending Christmas together this year. That's, that's Fred that's Stoller. That's Fred Stoller. Uh, what, what's, what's the latest thing he's worked on so people know? He just shot him. a Disney show the other day. Like, he literally works. All the time. Uh, every week. Like, he's non nonstop. And this book is amazing. He has shot so many guest stars, and it's about, it's called Maybe We'll Have You Back. And Maybe it's kind we'll of the, the story of a guest star and not working, like, as a series regular, and um, I mean, he's been in Dumb and Dumber. He's done so much; it's it's incredible. But that it's a really good book. There's, there's a book right there's there. The Maybe book. we'll have you back. So definitely um, check that one out. Yeah, and it's it's just very honest. And I think when it's about his story before he booked a job and when he was booking it, and I think it, it it's very informative. Okay, that's cool. Def uh, go ahead. Yes. So the question is, what's it like to be recognized? 
What's it like to be recognized? <laughs> What's it like? To, okay, how how is that? Um, um, well, your life's changed, tr uh, you know, pretty drastically very in a short, very very short period of time. You're in magazines. Uh, I mean, uh, you're doing things like this with me. What? Uh, <laughs> um, and and you're obviously in Atlanta and doing promos. I, I was I was telling you earlier if you've watched TV, I'm sure you've seen the promos for the haves and have-nots. I see it constantly. Um, what's that? transition been like for you and it's a two-part question what's the transition been like for you and then where do you see yourself going after this what do you want to do with this um it's been very interesting the transition i mean i think it's really fun when like little kids recognize you and they want to take pictures and things like that but it's kind of still surreal yeah like i don't You're like i'm just jacqueline really know how to handle yeah. it yeah <laughs> Um, but I mean, it's cool, and I think yeah. it's really neat when people enjoy your work and you work yeah. so hard on something, and they're like, "Oh my gosh, I love the show!" That's always fun. Um, and then I I want to do film. I I really really want to do film. TV is really cool, and it's very fast, and it's cool to develop a character and be able to work that quickly through a character, um, and to have that energy and kind yeah. of that playful work um but i i really 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 want to do film that's and my goal now do you uh do you write as well do you do you do anything else besides acting are you into writing screenplays or anything like that i mean i have ideas but i've never really like put it on paper yet down. yeah well you got you have a great contact to pitch something <laughs> to if i if i do tyler perry i'd be like yo dog how about this how about this, how about this? <laughs> Um, okay, so you're doing uh, doing the show. Uh, have you filmed uh, your second season yet? All yes. Of it? Okay. And it airs January seventh, so it's very January seventh on quick. the Oprah Winfrey Network. Yep. Own. So make sure you check that out. Uh, and there you're on the red cover. Where was yeah. this at? Um, that was at the August Osage County premiere. Oh, okay. I haven't so, seen that film, but I heard it's very good. Yeah, I'm in Meryl Streep and Julia Roberts. You kind of can't go yeah, wrong. Definitely it was can't tremendous. go wrong. Yeah. Awesome. Um, now, so you filmed both seasons already. Uh, how has this changed your life as in like coming to LA, being in Atlanta Hoff, and are you in Atlanta now? Out of I'm in, year? how often am I Yeah, there? like how long are you there? Just Probably a month, two like months? like five months out of the year, five months, four months wow. out of the year, yeah. And have you said hi to the Walking Dead people? I have some friends on that I show. I actually have never seen anyone. I mean, they're shooting the Hunger Games, the Walking Dead, Dropped a Diva, um, Vampire Diaries. I've never seen one person there, and I know really? all, we're all there at the same time, but I've never seen anyone. Well, there's a, you know things are changing. There's a lot of hot shows being filmed, obviously across the states and Atlanta in yeah. particular. Uh, of course, earlier you saw the haves and have-nots. You can go to the Oprah Winfrey, uh, the Own Network website, uh, get more information on her mm -hmm. and all of her co-stars and uh, what's going on with that. And uh, let's let's tell everyone where else they can see you. We have, uh, oh, they can get in touch with you. At Jacqueline Beatham on Twitter. At Jacqueline Beatham on Instagram. On Jacqueline Beatham on Instagram. <laughs> Jacqueline She'll put up Michelle Beatham on ja Facebook. Yeah, and then you can check her out on IMDb to see what, uh, what other work she's doing. And of course, uh, now we mentioned too, you have a YouTube channel where they saw the Santa yes, Baby song. Yes, I just started that just, like there it a is day right there. ago. <laughs> One day, look, we're starting so many things. Ja Jacqueline Beatham on YouTube, make sure you <laughs> check that out. Um, uh, with help from her husband, they made that cool video. And of course, uh, what are you going to do today? You're going to make a, a Facebook fan page? I'm going to make a Facebook fan page So for, for, for yes. all of you that wanted to actually go send her things, make sure you do that. Uh, all right, well, thank you so much. It was great thank having you. Jacqueline. Thanks, everyone, for all the great questions. Uh, uh, thank you, all our viewers and channels, for joining us on Actors E Chat today. Mm -hmm. We're here Monday through Friday from Hollywood, California. Actors E Chat uh, surpassed 5 million viewers. And wow. of course, that's because of you, so thank you so much. Uh, if you want to see all of our shows, go to actorsentertainment.com and put the talent's name in the search box right mm -hmm. there, and you can check it out. And also visit Actors Entertainment on IMDb.com. That's the Internet Movie Database to see some of the thousand plus entertainment industry guests on Actors E. And of course, please follow Actors Entertainment on Twitter at Actors Entertain. And uh, join us on Facebook at Actors Entertainment fan page. And don't forget to like it. And uh, please stay tuned for our Actors Reporter Animation, which won Best Telly. Look at this. Look how Woo! big it is. Hold that, Jacqueline. Okay. You'll enjoy that. And of course, great job, Pepper wow, J Productions and Now Media. It is heavy because it's real. And of course, we want to thank Jacqueline Beatham, everybody. It was Yay! awesome. It was a great show. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye bye. What's that? Actors Eat Chat Show? Happens to be my favorite in the morning. I want nothing but a cup of coffee, a bottle of Kahlua. Six Naked Girl, wait, no, that's not right.
Actor Z Chat Show. Oh my gosh, hey big Hollywood starlet that just happens to be walking by. Yes? I'm not from around here, but I want to be an actress just like you. What do I need to know? <gasps> Kid, let me tell you. Whether you're a seasoned pro, Naive newbie like you, there's one thing you need to know. To get my first job, I lived in a slum. Beat out 50 other girls to play a drunk bum. I cried. My first agent charged me 30%. Thanks. Working three jobs and I couldn't pay rent. But I'm an actor. She's an actor. A shark nod my leg on a B film in Sydney To pay for the stitches, I sold my left kidney I finally made a union, their rules were complex Their piles of paperwork fogged up my specs But I'm an actor, she's an actor I'm an actor Well that's rather disturbing, but what's the one thing I need to know? Don't listen to the critics. Don't follow all the tabs. Forget that sleazy photog and the agent that's got crabs. Go to Actors Reporter. Actors Reporter. Actors Learn the tricks and the secrets without all the sweat. And one-stop shop, it's free and on the net. Actors Reporter. Actors Reporter. ActorsReporter.com. How can they help her? Career cues, union news, makeup woes, advice from pros, insurance tips, choosing scripts, everything at your fingertips. Actors Reporter. Got a call back. I'll do it. Yay! Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm Mary Jo Gruber. Thanks for joining us on Actor Z Live Chat Show. I'm just one of your Actor Z hosts, but as you can see, I'm also the Actor Z Live video editor, which means that I'm here, even when you don't see me. Actor Z is here to chat with you Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, or Hollywood Time, as I like to call it. Our guests include actors, directors, producers, writers, singers, comics, and others that are all in the entertainment industry. You can see previous shows at www.actorsentertainment.com and be sure to check out our guest index to find your favorite celebrities. See you next time. I'm working.